How's it going YouTube Nation? I am Average Will. Welcome back to the channel and today I have a hundred dollar Funko Pop mystery box from J Navo Toys. Now I have tried to get boxes from J Navo Toys but well I'd miss them. He doesn't do huge runs uh, like this run was 50 boxes. Uh, the problem is they sell out like everything now within minutes you know if you if you don't have a timer set you can have your notifications on but you really have to set yourself a timer or a reminder uh, you know I found that is like the best tool for me to use uh, when there's a store exclusive dropping online when there's a mystery box I really want to get that's coming out I will set a reminder for myself about a few minutes early three to five minutes beforehand so I can get in make sure I'm logged in make sure all my payment stuff is ready because again how many times has, have you been uh, you know hung up on getting into PayPal and you got to do all that PayPal stuff and it's like oh man <laughs> so I always like to try to do that so this one I when I saw him post it on uh, Instagram I said okay I really want to get this box set my reminder my remi my alarm went off I went on onto his website got logged in got everything situated and we were good to go I ended up landing one uh, like I said this was a hundred dollars not shipped uh, I can't remember what the shipping was on the box uh, but it's $95 guaranteed with a majority of these boxes well over a hundred dollars per the uh, Instagram post and I'll put I'll put the picture of the Funko the, of what the pools are here uh, as well as the details over here so you guys can see the the pops and and what the details of this box were uh, and again these were he, they said a minimum uh, there was gonna be at least one pop that was gonna be 30 plus dollars in every box which is pretty cool I like that because you're getting a, a little bit better of a pop there you're not just gonna get four pops that are like 20 to 25 dollars you know or in that range so you're gonna get a guaranteed 30 dollar pop uh, the top hit was the SD is is I say was I don't know if anyone's pulled it yet I haven't seen it but the top hit is the uh, San Diego Comic-Con metallic Deadpool and it's like $550 I think is what the value is I think I saw in the uh, in his details that would be so complimentary to my black and white glow-in-the-dark Deadpool uh, up there on my shelf so it'd be really cool to get that uh, but there's so many cool pops in here this is a DC vs Marvel you guys know I love Marvel so if I can get a couple new Marvel pops in here because I, I think that's what it is it's two and two uh, there is a uh, Ghost Rider on his motorcycle uh, pop ride so that's a potential I think that would only be that would be considered one section because this is the box so we've got four or we've got a pop ride with two other pops so I'm waving my hands around like crazy but yeah uh, so like I said hundred dollar box 95 guaranteed DC vs Marvel uh, yeah I mean it, it's gonna be great I think I think they said four to six pops so I think we're good we've got four in here we don't have six or at least I don't think we do it's been a while since I've had a bigger that I haven't had just a single or you know a single or two in a box I've, I haven't had a big box like this in a while so uh, I know I don't do a lot of Funko Pops on here I'm kind of I'm gonna change it kind of get some rotation of the Funko Pop stuff in here uh, because I know I have some of you folks who like both the Funko Pops and the uh, the comics and I know I do it I do majority here on the channel comics so I'm trying to bring in some of the Funko Pops as well so we're gonna, we're gonna put my scissors over here get those out of the way oh cool we've got some Jay Navo toy uh, cards has his info I'll drop all of uh, Jay Navo toys the Instagram and uh, the website down in the description below like I always do and oh we got a sticker this will go on the sticker board look at that always like adding stickers to the board we're getting it nice and full so I'm gonna try to keep them here we've got uh, no hard stack so we did not get the uh, take that out of here we did not get the GP uh, which hey, it happens it's okay so we've got no protector no protector no protector and then a protector so we'll see maybe we'll be good there so I will open them and then at the very end we'll go through we'll do the things I'll pull up the values and and uh, we'll see how well we did all right so here's the first pop you guys can probably see it because you know this whole new setup is uh is not that great so here we go one two three oh we got spider gwen all right i'll take it the hot topic spider gwen unhooded nice 
Okay. That's a keeper in our collection. And then there's one with her hooded on the back of the box with She-Hulk, Captain Marvel, Dr. Ock, uh, Falcon, and Dr. Strange. That's cool. Set her there. And then, uh, oh, no, I'm not going to look. I don't want to look. I almost looked. So here we go. Let's pull this next one out. I think this is the front. No, wait, wait, maybe. Trying to feel for stickers, you know. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, we got a Batman. What Batman did we get? We got Earth One Batman. All right, cool. You guys know I'm not a DC guy. I'm not big into the DC, but you know, Batman is pretty damn cool. All righty, let's go to this one here. Pull it over here. Slide it down here. Let's see what we got. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, we got a Deadpool. Nice. This is slap. Oh, this is slapstick. So there we go, slapstick with uh, Stingray and Madcap, which rumored that Madcap is going to be the villain or is going to be in the uh, the new movie, uh, Deadpool three. Who knows? They're writing it right now. So, with that being said, we got two Marvel, one DC. So this last one's going to be a DC pop. Let's see what we got. Uh, there were some pretty cool ones up there. Unfortunately, it looks like we didn't get we didn't get any of our hits. But that's the mystery box game, you know. And that's one thing. It's not guaranteed. It's fun. It's the excitement of doing the gambling of it, right? So here we go. One, two, three. We got a Batman. Is this the Dark Knight Trilogy Batman? All right, yeah, that's it right there. This is one that has the Joker and the uh, the bank robber Joker. Those two are huge, hard price ones. So this must this is obviously our big our big hit because he's in the Protector. And uh, go ahead and hang tight here for a minute. We're gonna skip forward to the, all right. So we went on and I used Pop Price Guide. I didn't go through whatnot to use the app uh, because. I didn't have my phone available, so I just typed it up on the computer, looked them up. So these are based on the pop price guide. Uh, I don't know if he priced them through whatnot um, with the guaranteed values, so there might be a little bit of uh, skewing there. But Funko Pop prices are so volatile. Volatile is the word I'm looking for. Jesus. All right. All right, we're back, YouTube. So I went ahead and I tallied these up. I looked them up on uh, Pop Price Guide uh, I, or uh, in, in Funko to just kind of double check them. Uh, I didn't have my phone available to, to look them up on WhatNot app. So I don't know if that's how Jay Navo Toys priced his boxes out is through WhatNot because I know he's a part of the auctions and everything. Um, but I went ahead and I pulled up the prices through Pop Price Guide. Uh, and uh, that's where I, where I got the values. So just a little disclaimer there. I do know that the uh, pop prices are, the, the market is very volatile, so they do go up and down quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, let's start. Spider Gwen Unhooded was $7. Earth One Batman was $9. Stingray was eight dollars so that right there we had twenty four dollars with these three and remember it was a guaranteed value of ninety five dollars so we're at twenty four you know we should be looking close to seventy the uh dark knight trilogy batman uh came in at sixty dollars now again this is per pop price guide uh and i checked with the funko uh, with Funko.com uh, to look them up or the, the price that way. I did not go through Whatnot, so I don't know if Whatnot is that big of a skew, but these together we were sitting at $84. Uh, but again, uh, the, the, the market, the industry, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> is very volatile. They go up and down. We, we came up $11 shy of the guaranteed value. It happens again. This is what it is with the mystery boxes. Sometimes you get some major hits. Sometimes you, you hit a little bit low. It's a part of it, that's the gamble. Only do it if you have the ability to, right? If you have the financial means to, uh, don't do it just to, to go for the chase and then put yourself in any kind of financial strain. But you know, again, I don't wanna preach or anything, but yeah, here's our pools. Let me know in the comments below which one you like the best. 
Uh, you know, I gotta lean, I, I like Deadpool with Stingray, but I'm leaning towards, uh, you know, Spider-Gwen. Uh, I'm really digging her comics right now. I've really kind of gone back and read, you know, starting to read up more of her stuff in the comics. So I'm gonna lean more towards her. But you guys let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and slap a thumbs up on it. Uh, if you're not subscribed and you feel so inclined to, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And again, I, I enjoy your guys' conversation. So again, let me know what you think in the, uh, the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Tell someone you love them. Check in on your family and friends. Till next time, I'm out.